everybody, it's Susie. Uh, what's on my heart? What's on my heart real quick before I got to go to work in a little bit, very soon. Just keep on keeping on. We are to go forward. Uh, Moses didn't want to do what he was told to do. But what I think the Lord told him is go on, continue on. Moses had a big task before him. And uh, thank God he obeyed. Here we are now, all these many, many years later, the body of Christ. We have a task before us. Our work here is not yet done or we would be gone by now. So go. Go. Tell the people what needs to be said. Expose the darkness. Shine your light because the darkness is everywhere. And when the light shines, the darkness has to run. The dar it, it exposes what's going on in the world. Kudos to Sister Crystal, L4J Rapture. Um, she exposed uh, what's going on. I'll leave a link in the description box. She said, um, let's see, where's Sister Crystal's channel? Sister Crystal, we love you. I don't know if you're going to watch this video. But expose the darkness. And um, while we're here, we're still going to shine the light. And if your heart isn't ready for Jesus, if you claim to be saved but yet you think you're just not quite ready, you got to get your heart right. I watched a powerful video last night from a channel I, I always, I've been subscribed to for so long, but for some reason, I never clicked on the channel to watch what this precious man of God preaches about. It's a preacher. Um, hold on, let me find that channel. Yes, I found it. It's uh, Shekinah Worship TV. Um, he's a preacher out of California. His name is Joe Sweet. I mean, many of you probably have been watching him. Uh, he had a wonderful message that for such a time as this, I believe I, I went to that channel and said, I want to see what he has to say. A brother at church mentioned he watches him. So he mentioned that we should pray for to want the heart of God and oh my goodness, did that convict me. I'll leave a link in the description box for that video. Probably won't be till later. I mean, you may see this video before I get to it to put the link in because I got to get going. But um, Shekinah Worship TV, you probably know the, the preacher. Um, you need to have a heart of God and, and ask him create in you a clean heart like David said. Create in me a clean heart, oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. I'm singing fast because I gotta go. <laughs> cast me not away from thy presence. And we don't want him to cast anyone away from his presence. Lord willing, we can shine the light on these people and they won't be cast away from his presence if we shine the light and reveal the truth to them and expose the darkness, expose the evil. We gotta do that. Oh God, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and renew a right spirit within me. I am speaking to myself. I am as well. Because we all can get a little self-righteous and, and think that, you know, we know it all and I got it right. But no, we all fall short of the glory of God. And if we do, how much more do those that don't know Jesus, those that are not saved, born again by the blood of Jesus? So please, time is so short. we got to get some more souls saved. Get out there. Be fishers of men, like Jesus said. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Um, shine the light. Be ye fishers of men. Okay? Shine the light in the darkness. He gave us plenty of reason to believe we are to be the ones to get those souls in because the light of Jesus has to shine through us so that they might be saved. I'll try and get back to you uh, for sure the next couple of days. Um, I'm hoping a, a more uh, a video with a little more substance and, and things we need to talk about. Maybe a ride in the car video. I've got a little time. I might be able to do that. Um, so I, I love you guys, but Jesus loves you so much more. Please, let's keep going. Keep going. Shine in the light in the darkness. I've got to get that last soul saved. And there's many before the last soul probably. So whoever you are, that last soul that's not saved yet, ooh, the celebration in heaven over you. Ooh, the angels in heaven repent, repent over one sinner. Rep excuse me. No, strike that. 
the angels of heaven rejoice over one sinner that repents. So can you imagine what the, the born-again believers are going to do? We're going to rejoice over that last sinner that repents. So every sin, every sinner that gets saved and you know repents, calls on Jesus to be their Lord and Savior, is a glorious new change in the kingdom of God. It's a glorious celebration. So please don't let anything or anyone stop you from calling on the Lord Jesus to be saved because there's a lot to be saved from in this world of evil. You need Jesus and let that light shine through you and you will feel that joy that and the peace that surpasses all understanding inside. And people will look at you like, wow, I see a change in you. What, what are you doing different? And it's not what you're doing different. It's what he did for us that reigns in you, that works through you and his light shines through you. That's what will be different about you. We will no longer be of ourselves. When we call on Jesus, we die to ourselves and we are alive in Christ. And his mercy and his grace goes before us. And he, he, we are covered by his blood. And the truth reigns. The truth will prevail. Go, just go. And let the truth be known that Jesus Christ is Lord to all the world. Because one day, Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. However, it won't be so pretty for those who are thrown into the lake of fire in hell. And then that one day when they got to bow before him and call to say Jesus is Lord, it's only going to be for their shame. Because they'll be, re be removed from hell just temporarily at that great white throne of judgment at the end of you know, at the end of all this time. And uh, they will stand before God and they will, they will get their sentencing, per se. And they'll be pleading with the Lord. Please, 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 I believe now, I believe, I believe, because they've been in hell. They, they believe now. They've been in hell. They've been taken out for a short term, just for a short little while to get their explanation of why they're there. And they'll know. God has a perfect memory. God has everything written down that you've done. He'll present, pre pre he'll present your life to you of all your wrongdoings to, to justify why. We have a just God. He'll show you why you're going to hell. So rather than let that happen, why don't you give God the glory and turn away from your sin, your evil, wicked ways, because sin cannot enter the kingdom of God. God is holy and just and righteous and he, he wants you cleansed from all unrighteousness so you can come. He loves you. He loves you. I was starting to tell you, we need a heart for people like this, brothers and sisters. And for you who are not saved, we have a heart for you because we want the heart of God to reign in our hearts, to, to, to rule our hearts and minds, to show us that there's people hurting out there that are living in sin. But, you know, that's all they know. They're turning for answers anywhere they can, but to Jesus because Maybe they're fearing what, what people will think of them. No, don't fear what man thinks. Man can't, you know, decide, decide your de eternal destination. God knows where you're going to end up. God's the one that puts you where you go for all of eternity. It'll be heaven or hell. So don't worry what the evil darkness of man will tell you and, and try and fear make you fearful about. It's the devil telling, speaking through people that don't know Jesus, trying to make you fearful of calling on Jesus and thinking that, Oh, those are weirdo people. They're, they're crazy people. No, no. We're crazy about Jesus. And he's crazy about you. Jesus loves you that much. That's how much he loves you. He died for you and me and all the sins of the world. If you call upon his name, he'll show you his love. He showed you already. But he'll, you'll feel his love. Call on his name. Feel the presence of God coming into your life. Feel his love. Accept his love. He need, you need him. He doesn't need you. You need him. But he loves you with an everlasting love. So please call upon his name and be saved. Time is short. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.